welcome uh welcome um uh, fire sign this is the energy vibration written for the aquarian leo sagittarians and ophiosis this is the weekly readings for the business career money and wealth and we are going to be looking at what is coming up for you guys now what we see is transpiring here is that some sort of a conflict is there on the work floor and some of you who were having some sort of a fear on the work floor is going to be coming out so aries be aware of this so aries i see a whole lot this like this week is um showing up a whole lot of information a lot of you Aries, young Aries that is in some sort of a management position, you're going to be removed from your management position um, because a company or a government institution is investigating um, you and they're going to be releasing you from your management position. So if you're between the age of 18 and 40, um, 40 they're going to be removing you from your management position. They are realizing that there is some sort of... Uh, in balance um and how you get this job they're going to be looking at how you get this job aries you're dealing with a lot of people in this week and i see some of you aries are going to be having conflicts with a scorpion person some of you aries could be in love with a scorpion person and i see a whole lot of conflicts on the work floor um so be aware of this i see a huge corporation or a government institution is investigating and realizing um, some sort of a um, is issue and problem that was going on in a, um, a company. And they're looking at what has happened and transpired. So if you notice uh, um, some of you um, that was having issues and problems, uh, a whole lot of conflicts, and it, some of you are going to be having a whole lot of conflicts with a uh, government institute or organization. They're really looking and really finding out and seeing the truth as to what has been happening and transpire. A whole lot of you are dealing with uh, scorpions at work floor where you're going to be conflicted because of some sort of a work affair relationship. So that some of you have been having on the work floor. Then I see you're dealing with a Leo um, people in a corporation institution is investigating a Leo, um, a Leo and their company and is realizing what is transpiring. Then we see the energy of the Sagittarian and I see a Sagittarian is and a Leo is under some sort of an investigation. They are looking at the connection between a Sagittarian and a Leo and is realizing that a Sagittarian and a Leo could have had some sort of a love affair. Um, and that's how um someone got in a corporation institution so they're going to be realizing that a leo and a sagittarian um have some sort of a, an affair and it's as if whoever this um person is uh, got the job in a corporation institution because of an affair that they have with a sagittarian and they're looking at this leo and the sagittarian and realizing um, that this Leo have a child for a Sagittarian or um, it is a love relationship that has been happening a whole lot long time on the work floor. So I see a whole lot of information is going to be coming out and it could be um, they're going to be finding out that um, some of you young um, women have gotten a position in a corporation and it's because you have been having an affair with a Leo. And I see a whole lot of conflicts is going to be happening between managers because managers is realizing um, that some of you only got a position because you had an affair with some of, with one of the managers um, in there. And I see people, I see meetings is called, a whole lot of meetings is called and meetings and people are starting to investigate some sort of a situation that is transpiring and that uh, they're going to be finding out that a lot of you young people got a promotion only because you were having an affair with this person. So let's look at this energy with the scorpion. Some of you, this is a karmatic situation that some of you are having with a scorpion on at work. So whoever is having issues 
um, whatever issue it is, I see some of you are in love with a scorpion or a scorpion is in love with you. And this is where the friction is coming up and they're going to be finding out uh, that this is a sort of an affair that is playing out uh, between some of you and a scorpion because you can see the energy of La Amor. Um, the scorpion um, who could be your friend on the work for some sort of conflicts between you and this person is going to be coming up. And that is going to be happening on a Tuesday. So we see that some of you young um, 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 people are having conflicts, problems, issues with a new start. And it's because of some sort of a, they're going to be realizing that you had an affair with um, one or two of the boss on the work floor. And this is the reason why. Then as we look um, um a lot, it, it, this week is going to be affecting a lot of young people, young people between the age of 18 and 40. As this week is going to be affecting you guys because some sort of a problem, they're in, they're investigating, um, your documentation and is checking on your documentation and is realizing, um, some sort of a, um, that your documentation, they're investigating how um, did you Aries get this position in a corporation and they're investigating um, your qualification and that sort of a thing and they're really finding out some sort of a um, corruption that some of you had only get a position because you were um, in the pocket of a Leo whoever this Leo is and uh, um, this Leo could have his company or this Leo uh, use you in order to acquire some sort of information and this Leo, uh, I see that you and this Leo is going to be in some sort of a conflict because I see, um, some of you could realize that your contract is not, um, going to be extended. And I see you're uh, calling up this Leo and said, Hey, what is happening? Blah, blah, blah. But I see that our managers are really looking and realizing what was happening and transpire some sort of a, um, uh, you businessmen are having some sort of a problem with a Sagittarian, whoever the Sagittarian is and whatever is transpire. I see you businessmen and a Sagittarian try, um, it, there's a whole lot of meetings, 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 meeting in, meeting out. This is a week where a lot of you fire sign people, especially business people are going to be having a whole lot of meetings, whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring. You're going to be in and out of meetings. And I see a whole lot of problems for a lot of you business people. It's as if you business people are trying to resolve some sort of a um, problem with your business with government and um, some sort of a problem with another company. And, and this is really some sort of an investigation because if you see there are different types of people that is sitting around this table um, discussing and looking at what has really has happened and transpiring. And I see truth is going to be coming out, especially business people. If you had was doing business in unconventional way, it is definitely going to be coming out in this week. So you Aries, whatever is transparent, uh, it is going to be affecting the areas between the ages of 18 and 40 and the businessmen. Um, a whole lot of conflicts. And I see uh, they are really investigating your business. So Aries, people, um, be aware, be aligned. Your business is under some sort of an investigation. Um, they're realizing um, that you have created uh, some sort of a problem that, um, and it, it, for some of you, it's just business meeting. But for business people, you're going to be having a very heavy week because I see that people are going to be coming in and investigating your business. So Aries, be aware of this. So a lot of uh, uh, situation is going to be transpiring. Um, a lot of you young women who got a promotion because you had an affair with uh, someone you were doing business with, uh, this is all going to be coming out. I see that this is going to be showing up in this week. I see a lot of you are trying to offer a love to the people in management, but that is not going to be helping. It is uh, whether or not you are capable um, to be in this position or not, because I see that 
um, you know, people from IOPS is going to be coming in in order to be looking and checking some sort of a um, information about um, the um, co-workers, employees, uh, um, all of their information and documentation is going to be checked and they're going to be realizing um, a whole lot of information. So I see a lot of you realize that there's eat in the kitchen and it's as if uh, you are trying to um, offer these managers, these IO people love. They are turning their backs on you. They are realizing that there is some serious play that is at hand and there is um, some serious problem at hand. And, uh, you know, you are in and out, in and out. And they're like, can you just please stay out? We need to resolve a situation. So I see like government people came down and is investigating and is looking at information and things that has been happening and transpiring and it's as if they're trying to figure out uh, who have the qualification and the people qualification and um they're, they're they're really connecting the dots together in order to find out investigate something that has been happening in your company or in the company that you work so be aware of that i gotta go now let say until next time welcome i want to see um Welcome to this weekly reading. Let's go in. Don't forget, you. Ha this is a fire sign reading, so you have to look where um, uh, the timestamp is. So, so I see um, some sort of an end to some sort. Some so some of you, Leos, your business is going to be ending, and your business is going to be ending because people have realized that you have been either using someone else's information to acquire. Um, business and it is going to be ending. I see a lot of you layers of the repay a whole lot of money because we have um, the energy with a cross and that is the burden of repaying a whole lot of money to a company. Um, it's as if they have found out because you can see the energy of the seven of the snake uh, that they have found out that it's not your company and it's not your business. Uh, so I see that you, Leos, had created some sort of a business or was using someone else's business information and was um, running a business. And I see that they're going to be finding out what you, Leos, have done, okay? Because I see you have financial burdens. So a lot of you, Leos, at the workplace, it could be you're running a business and you realize um, you have a whole lot of financial burdens, a whole lot of issues that is happening and transpiring. I see um, some um, some of you Leos, um, some sort of an unexpected uh, resolution could be coming into a situation. And I see the energy of uh, the snake. Now, uh, you Leos uh, have a lot of jealousy coming to, um, that you're giving out a lot of jealousy because it's your reading. So I see a lot of you Leos, whatever you have done in the past to a company or someone else's business, you're going to be have some burdens to resolve this situation because I see a lot of you, Leos, have gotten um, money. Um, you could have gotten a lending or um, you, your company could have financed you to do something, or um, but you have burdens now to resolve and return this money because they found out that you, Leos, have access and use this money on the false pretend. So is it a business loan or um, is it that in the past, some of you Leos got some so, some financial um, support and you have not paid back this loan or this credit. And I see that they're going to be coming down because once the energy of the cross and the money result, this is saying um, there is burdens with a whole lot of money and uh, you're looking for some sort of a resolution. So it is not that money is coming in. If you notice the energy of the snake, once the energy of the snake and um, the cross is in a reading, and especially if you notice the crowning of your reading has to do with something that some of you Leos has done that was not above water, okay? And I see that this is going to be coming up um, returning and I see the energy of the snake and for you guys in this week is that they're investigating you Leos and your business and they're investigating when did your business start how and how did you financier your business where did you get this money from so I see a lot of you Leos uh, 
Monday, Tuesday is that you're going to be receiving some sort of a message that you have to pay back some sort of a money. And if you notice, um, this is about uh, um, some sort of uh, money that you Leo's received from the past so that you need to resolve and uh, pay back this money. And it has to do with a whole lot of money that was given to you because this is the energy of the key in order to start some sort of a business or to finance their your business or your department so it could be that you leo so um could have got money to create some sort of a um service or a business or um to help your department but um no one in your department had gotten the money and i see it's as if they're uh in us auditor is in your company auditing your company and is asking where did all of this money go because there was uh, um money that was prepared they they had, had um accumulate they had give um a budget uh, and create some sort of a budget um for some sort of a project and they realized that this project has never been set up and now they're asking the head of the department where did the money go so i see a lot of you leos are going to be have to be resolving um, this situation because it has the energy of the cross and the burdens and the energy of the key to resolve um, a situation where some of you were offered or given money in the past and uh, um, some sort of a um, business or this money was not allocated where it was supposed to be allocated and I see that this is going to be coming up as we leave the, the uh, middle of the week um, um, we see some sort of a jealousy that was coming in and um it's as if some of you uh leos created some form of jealousy and created some sort of a problem for someone else in the at the office and i see a scorpion is going to be winning this uh, situation whoever the scorpion is i see the scorpion is going to be finding out and seeing what has happened and what has transpired and it's definitely going to be balancing out the situation and resolve this problem so a lot of you are having issues um rebalancing and a lot of you are dealing with the aquarian so so with the aquarians is as if some sort of an in-house order to them is going to be happening and they're going to be um you know checking um the allocation of money um, how this is money at, uh, allocated and um, some sort of a re resolution you Leos are dealing with a Virgo an Aquarian a Virgo and uh, this Aquarian person is on top of their games and um, this is an in-out auditor that is checking the books to find out uh, um, something about a whole lot of money so a whole lot of jealousy um a whole lot of problems is going to be coming up because you leos have to give um uh give show data to where this money was allocated to then i see um a lot of you um leos could be dealing with a situation um I, I, you're dealing with another woman another fire sign woman uh, some of you Leos, your boss could be an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libran. I see this person is not going to be supporting you in whatever it is. This person has chosen the other side. So whatever is happening and transpiring, Leo, do not accept expect an Aquarian to be on your side. I see this Aquarian has chosen the other side. And I see a Scorpion is going to be receiving some sort of a promotion over you Leos. So some of you Leos had hope for some sort of a promotion um, to come up some sort of a, you were looking for some sort of a either promotion or um, it's, it's as if some of you Leos wanted a promotion or a position, but you're not going to be getting it. The Scorpion is the one that is going to be getting there. So. I see there is some sort of a problem that is going on on the work floor for you Leo women. Um, if you are a business woman also, I see you business Leo women are having problems to resolve some sort of a, um, issues that you're dealing with. And this is money that was lent to either um, support your, your 
business or to help you to get back on foot with your business uh, but it's as if you had not um allocated this money in the right and proper order and i see that it is as if uh, um like the people who you borrowed the money from or the people who had support you to start your business um you haven't repaid the loan and i see they're coming down on you leos that you repay the loan um so yeah we are seeing that uh, um you are dealing with the aquarians the gemini's and the pisces and it is some sort of a situation where some sort of a credit some sort of a credit needs to be repay leos whatever is happening and transpiring is as if uh, um credit collectors is going to be coming um to you leos however it's um um then a lot of credit collectors is going to be coming in um, to you, Leos. It could be um, you're working in the accounts department. It could be um, that they are um, um, they're using in house auditor or um, to balance out and check the books. So this is going to be coming up that a lot of you, Leos, books are going to be checked, and they're going to be realizing that there is some sort of a discrepancy in what is happening with your books or with your business and they're going to be also finding out uh, that you know there was a credit that was given to you leos and you have not repaid this credit and i see that you're going to be have to pay, repay this credit so it's as if they're going to be coming down on you leos in order to repay some sort of a credit that you, um, you had so leos is a heavy heavy week not to worry Namaste until next time. Welcome, Sagittarius. <clears throat> this is your weekly readings. Let's go in and check out what is coming out. Oh, so, 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 Sagittarius, there is a block um, that is happening on Friday and a whole lot of worries. Um, block with a contract, uncertainty with a contract for some of you, Sagittarius. So, it's just going to be coming up. So, uncertainty um you're dealing um with your boss some sort of a uh contract uh, from your boss some sort of a um override contract some of you Sagittarius are worried about whether or not it is going to be extended then we see the energy of 617 um uncertainty for a leo contract whoever this leo is i see that some of you Sagittarian. Or trying to work out um, a contract deal for a Leo but there's a whole lot of uncertainty that is around this contract because people are realizing something um, the energy of <clears throat> a lot of you are going to be having is as if your contract is going to be extended long term um, for some of you Sagittarians not all of you and um, this is coming up um, I see if some of you try to work against a Pisces cancer or a scorpion person I see that this person is going to be overcoming what you have done so it's as if some of you Sagittarian have tried to block a long-term contract for a Pisces cancer or a scorpion person and you created the block for this person so I see they're going to be finding out that you Sagittarian has something to do with to block some sort of a long-term contract it's like a person is has gone through their um the the process of uh, temps and then they're going to take this on this person on permanently and you have block this person contract sages i'm gonna say um something to you guys because uh, um it's as if you need to understand saji whatever you do to someone it's going to be happening uh, um to you okay and some of you have not been very honest okay some of you are playing this really horrible nasty game and it is going to be um there is uncertainty with a leo um and your contract sagittarian so it's as if you sagittarians at work against a pisces cancer or a scorpion man to block his contract and they're doing the same thing that is going to be happening to you. So some of you are doing it to other people and it's happening to some other people that it's happening to them. 
So I see a lot of worries for a lot of you um, business people. If you're in business, a lot of worries. Um, you were trying to resolve some sort of an issue and some sort of a problem overseas. And I see a, a whole lot of worries um, for Leo's overseas because I see they're going to be blocking their travel documents or rise documents. And it's all because of you Sagittarians, because of something that you have done that was wrong. You have done something um, something that you have done, you have intervened in a situation and it's something where you Sagittarians are not learning karma. You're not learning. You're not learning. It's as if you Sagittarians make the ego is driving you and this is going to be driving you um, to, to an end because what you have done and you got to face up to this. Some of you Sagittarians who are head on this have used someone else's information and uh, credential to give a Leo to get in a country and to have some sort of a new start. People know, government knows that you are the one who created this contract, Sagittarian. And I see, you know, I'm really wondering for you guys, where does it stop? Um, because right now this Leo is in some serious problem and it is caused by you Sagittarian because every time you try to do something you need to understand that the frequency on this planet is changing and you Sagittarian try to bring some sort of a long-term stability for this Leo under some sort of a false information documentation got this Leo a work permit a work contract in a country and that sort of a thing and now I see I am um, this is not looking really well for you, Sajid, because they're realizing that you were the one who created these false credentials for this person in order to get in a country. And I see that they're really realizing what you have done. So you could be um and not all of you Sagittarian, um, you could be a head hunter, whoever you Sagittarian is, and work together with a Gemini, <clears throat> uh huh, in order to create some sort of a problem, and I see now that this this Gemini is really blocking this Gemini or this government person is really seeing the truth, uh, and uh, is really realizing that uh, it was not uh, it was someone else's information and documentation that you have acquired in order to give someone some sort of a new contract. Now, it's not going to be happening. Some sort of uh, un, uh, uncertainty is coming up about a new contract. And some of you are going to be receiving some sort of a message. Some sort of a uncertainty is coming up about a new contract. That is happening and transpiring. So I see truth is going to be um, coming out. And I see um, uncertainty. Um, if you notice that the message is ending with a block um, this block is as if uh, um, governments are blocking this Leo and you Sagittarian from having a new start or blocking you from entering some sort of a country or blocking you from creating some sort of a documentation or business agreement again because of what you have done. So if you notice there was some sort of a um, uncertainty and there is uncertainty, some sort of a news of uncertainty is coming so some of you Sagittarian, where you're going to be finding out that you're going to be blocked um, because they realize that uh, um, you worked on some sort of a project and created a whole lot of problems and created contracts for people, um, false contracts uh, for people to either, either false work contract, either false business contract. And they realize that you Sagittarian has something to do with it, not all of you. For the rest of you, I see a lot of you are worried, worried about uh, and having some sort of uncertainty. You could be living in another country, different than your own country. And a lot of you are worried whether or not uh, you're going to be moving forward because of the, there is some sort of a blocks and uncertainty that was created. That something, um, it could be someone had blocked you. Some sort of uncertainty about a contract is going to be coming out for you, Sagittarian. Whatever that is happening and transpiring, I see um, you're going to be dealing with some sort of an issue Monday, Tuesday. Some sort of uncertainty about a contract that is coming up for you, Sagittarian. And a Leo 
And so uh, is this uh, a Leo that you're trying to get some sort of a work permit or some sort of a new extended contract? I see some sort of uncertainty is coming up because they're realizing um, the deceptiveness of what was created. Um, so I see long term um, stability is going to be blocked for some of you. And I see some of you are really going with it and thinking, oh, God, and what now? What else? Um, some of you Sagittarian are going to be in this week. It's as if you're having it. Uh, you really you have it to tear and you're understanding. Um, wow, this this is just a whole lot that is transpiring. So a whole lot of. Uh, um issues with contract new start is going to be coming up for you sagittarian is as if you sagittarian think as there is one thing that i resolve then another thing then another thing then another thing and i think sagittarians you have to go back and really look at how you're resolving these issues um how these issues and situation is so you have to understand that with work um problems um is that there is always uh, issues that is going on. So whatever is transpiring with work problems, anything with, that has to do with work, is karmatic issues that you're um, trying to resolve. And I see um, that you're going to be having this uh, block uh, that is coming up. So um, it is some sort of a news is coming in about a contract for you, Sagittarius, in this um, week that is going to be... Uh, not what were you were open for, okay? And I see a Pisces uh, could be advising you, um, Sagittarius, of uh, this news. And this news is going to be bringing some sort of uncertainty um, for you moving forward, okay? Um, so news of a contract is coming in. Um, long-term stability, you're not sure. Um, what is your long-term stability? You're not seeing your future out. You're not understanding what is going on. And um, it is because of uh, some sort of a dilemma that some of you had in the past uh, that is now um, showing up for you. It's a sort of a karmatic situation. So you are dealing with a some sort of, some of you are going to be receiving some sort of a positive news. Um, and some of you who were worried about a contract, you're going to be receiving a positive news. Okay. Um, as some of you Sagittarian are going to be getting some sort of a news or information from your boss that is a Pisces that is not very good. And that is going to be putting you back because there is some sort of a blockages that is going to be created. And this is, uh, is going to be putting you back a whole lot. So be aware of this. Uh, a whole lot of you are worried about some sort of a new start, some sort of a transition. What is going to be coming up? Um, you know, do I have long term with my business, with my um, my corporation? What is transpiring and what is happening? So, you know, the thing and the situation is that whatever... And whoever is uh, create, had created some sort of an issue for some of you on the work floor, or if you have done this to someone else in the past, so I see karma is playing for you in the future. And I see that they're going to be understanding and realizing what was happening and what was transpiring um, and how um, some sort of a documentation, long-term documentation, got in the hands of a Leo. They're, they're, they're now going to be finding out that some of you had something to do with it. How a Leo got some sort of a long-term contract that got in the hands that it was not yours. And you have intercept or, or took this information and they're going to be blocking you, Sagittarius, for taking um this situation. So a lot of you, you can see this is a week of worries. <clears throat> Worries about um, some sort of a new contract that should be signed or you should have been getting for someone and it's not happening. I gotta go. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Ophiosis. Ophiosis. All right, Ophiosis. So it is a week of business. Um, business, business, business. It's a week of business. I see changes uh, um, is going to be coming up. A lot of people 
um, in a company, a lot of changes is coming up for a lot of people in a company. So be aware of this. I see a lot of you, your bosses is going to be delivering a message. So I see a lot of you ladies with children are trying to find some sort of a stability, especially um, ladies with kids. So you're trying to bring back some sort of a stability in your world. I see a lot of people are trying to protect their um, employees in their team. Um, this is going to be coming up. So business people, you're going to be affected by this week. Some sort of a reaching the crossroad. Number 22 is in this week. Um, changes is coming up. So what this is saying is that some sort of a, some of you who have a business, you're at a crossroad. Um, some of you, this is going to be an emotional week, especially for women with kids. So some sort of an emotional situation, some sort of a transition. Um, coming to a crossroad where you could be receiving some sort of a message from your boss in this week. Uh, people in power and I see you're coming to a crossroad and you're going to be realizing what has been happening and transpiring. So uh, I see um, changes. Um, if your boss is a Gemini, I see um, your boss is going to be advising you um, uh, um, or is your boss a team leader is going to be advising you of some sort of a changes so a company has come to a crossroad this company has come to a crossroad and um a lot of you I, I kind of feel the shift of energy in the company as if something is right as if uh, you don't know what is going to be happening in the next year no one is saying anything but it's as if some of you obviously just realize that there's some sort of a shift in a company so there is the manager, this the CEO is here, the chief of operation is here, and the personnel officer. And it's as if these people, um, you can see on them and you feel the energy as if uh, they know and they feel this um, uneasy situation is a coming up. And... Um, uh, it's, it's going to be very emotional for you, Ophiosis. Um, and it's emotional in the sense that you know that there is a, a changes in this company, um, that this company has gone to a crossroad where they have to let go and release a whole lot of uh, people. Okay? And it's as if you are like... Uh, you want to know, you definitely want to know where you are um, in this process. Um, and, and you ladies with children are very worried. And I see that whatever is transpiring, they're going to be um, removing the women with kids. For whatever the reason is, it's as if they're ex more, more expensive. And I see that... Uh, um, Young people have no need to worry, but I see women with kids uh, uh, is going to be worried because they know that some sort of a transition is coming up. So it could have been that some of you are feeling this coming in. Um, you definitely know because there's definitely a transition that is coming up. Um, a lot of business people are at a crossroad whether or not they go forward with their business or they let it go. However, this is happening and transpire. So it's as if, do I go forward or am I going to be letting go and ending my business? So a lot of business people are on a crossroad in this week and is trying to figure out what is happening, what is transpiring, and is trying to think of ways and means in order to keep their employees um, on board. So there is this week is going to be very emotional for a lot of you Ophiosis, especially if you're a manager, a team leader, um, or a supervisor. It's going to be a very, very emotional week because uh, um, so much transition that is coming up uh, that you're not aware and capable of uh, accelerating these changes that is coming up but you you can feel it whether or not it's your company but you're working in a company and you can feel it so i see that there is going to be some sort of emotional conflicts between 
a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, boss, and a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, boss. There is really going to be some sort of an emotional situation where I see that uh, um, people in authority is uh, looking at the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion woman um, who could be a manager um, and, and is thinking, because this is coming up, uh, um, and I'm thinking, Jesus, you know, what exactly had transpired here? And I see that this lady is going to be in, under some real serious investigation. Um, this woman and her kids and this woman and the, 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 the colleague, this woman and the people in her team is going to be under some sort of an investigation because they're going to be finding out uh, that there has been some sort of a false, um, plain and this lady and her teammates created some sort of a false plane and they're investigating this lady and her co-workers so so a whole lot of emotionals for this lady and her co-workers and i think that it is something that needs to be done because uh, people were not aware uh, of what was transpiring and how this woman and her co-workers uh, Create issues for other people and try to create a sort of uh okay so as, as if this lady and her co-workers uh, there was no manager um she was just friends she wanted to be friends with these people so it was not a situation where it's the manager and um no it is as if she she was friended befriended with these people and it, it was as if uh, People now are looking at the play and realize that this lady and her team had made some other play and created some sort of an issue for someone else. And I see that they're investigating this lady and her whole team and realizing that there was some sort of a full play that has transpired. So I see coming to the a crossroads, a whole lot of you are coming to a crossroad and is at a crossroads a whole lot of oh you ophiosis with business so it's going to be an emotional week and if you're a woman that is an um a business woman or a businessman you're going to be um being at a crossroads especially if you have a small business because you don't want to uh leave anyone out of work but there is some sort of a decision that you had to really look at uh, some sort of a business that you had to really take a look at because uh, you realized that um, there was some sort of a lies and deceptiveness that was created. And a lot of you are really looking at what has happened and transpired and realizing that a woman and her team was not being very honest. And they're finding out the truth and seeing the truth uh, of this woman and her team that this person was not really honest. So. So I see um, emotions, the emotions that is here, it's strong emotion because a lot of you know that either you're going to be receiving a letter at the end of the month or some of you have to make some sort of a um, decision um, about your business in order to be moving in the new year because some sort of a problem was created um, where with this virus and the shutdown, a lot of you are not sure whether or not you can um, keep this business going. So I see um, this is definitely going to be coming up because you're seeing the energy of you're at a crossroads trying to figure out or not whether you can um, keep your business going and um, be, you know, really having your business and working on your business and keeping your business going. And I see that that is so. Uh, what is going to be transpiring for a lot of you in this week? So, you know, you have to be understanding of what is happening and transpiring. You have to be aware of how um, things are transpiring in your world. And you have to be understanding of how you're going to be dealing with people, letting them know that some sort of an ending is here. And um, I see that it's going to be very hard for some of you to tell. Gotta go. Namaste until next time.